Hi folks, I had a comment from Rebecca saying I'm brand new to the hake brush. There's a definite learning curve for water control. Um, I remember when I first started, um, I'd painted um, you just using normal rain brushes, um, just small, small uh, rain brushes. Um, and so when I first used a hake, I just couldn't believe how much water it held and how diluted it made the mixes. It was an absolute nightmare. And to be honest, I wondered if I was ever gonna really take to it and, and enjoy using it. But what I found was um, when, when Ron Ranson used to use his, he, he always had a tea towel in his left hand so you can just wipe the excess water off and it, it really, really helps. And with practice, you learn how to control the water and, and, it, and it becomes a, a fantastic tool. But I also use my, my water jar as like a, a sort of um, sharpish lip on it. So when I dry it, I'll sort of wipe a lot of the water off, just brush it along the side of the jar. I'll take some of it off and then wipe it on the tea towel just to set the rest off. And it, uh, with a bit of practice, it really it, it doesn't take that long and you can get back to a quite a fairly dry, fairly dry brush and it's not too uh, much of a pain. I also used to notice you'd, I'd just be getting used to the brush and then it'd get that worn, I'd need a new one. And I remember every time I bought a new one, I seemed to have the same problem with water because the, it just, because the, I think the hairs were longer, it just seemed to hold. Again, gallons and gallons of water, and I would be back to square one. But now I've, I've had that much experience now, I don't really, I don't even notice that now at all, whereas I used to. But so the, the more you practice, it really, you really do sort of concrete after a while.